nigga knows you ain't built like this Hit you so hard, make your brain say quit I ain't no fraud, no gangsta or goon I just won't accept disrespect or lose Now follow me to greatness, show you where to take it Show you how to use curse, show you why to hate it Hungry for more like a Lloyd Banks playlist Still don't like the only person not up in the mix You know I ain't really changed, I just got a lot better Got a hard enough soul from Chicago weather Only do the talking, they don't know no better Cause the Glock and Fulgin nice like a Abercrombie sweater I ain't even rapping, I'm just talking about my life and it's They touch gloves and now they're gonna start boxing, first round Oh, big left hook already landed by Jordan Deck Yeah, he rocked me a little bit Yeah I think that's going to encourage him to open up a little bit. Now, Jordan Day has won three tough man competitions in the past. Hung him again. Yeah, he's got him hurt a he's little bit He's got him in already. trouble in front of us. Breaking it up. Had a little stumble there. Yeah. Day was slipping as well as he worked his opponent in front of us. Now, it's going to be curious with this if... Uh, Israel Valles doesn't go into a uh, southpaw just to throw off his opponent maybe by, by a little time. Now, I assume that would give you pause, wouldn't it? If somebody else, uh, if someone switched up their stance on you? Yeah, it gets a little confusing. Definitely enough to, like, step back and kind of read or try to change strategies. Now, when Jordan Day was 19... Uh, he got a call, or his coach got a call, and said, I have a 64-ranked kickboxer in the United States that I want one of your guys to fight. And he sent Jordan, and Jordan won. Wow. So he is, he's got something special going on. Yeah. From an inside source, I've been told, as the night goes on, the ring is getting slick. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I believe that. I see a little bit of, like, kind of dirt from just people get walking in and out. As things were slowed down a little bit, trying to figure out each other's game plans and where the weaknesses lie. Jordan Day turning up the, the action here. Get shot to the body there, now to the egg. And the ref's on it. Breaking them up to let him fight again. Is it 154 weight division? And that looked like that was almost a stumble by Jordan. Ooh, big punch landed there. Day's done an excellent job getting his opponent into the ropes and being able to mount some offense. Yeah, that seems to be Day's like biggest game plan is yeah. push in. Uh, get the pressure, pin them on the road, start working body punches. And it works for him. And then when Jordan Day doesn't see something, he just clinches. Yeah. Just lose everything down. In a round one, like thanks to our sponsors, Home Savings Bank, one of them. Uh, kind Mortgage Solutions designed to save you money and help West Virginia grow. H&L Hair Studio and Finish Line Motors, home of the greatest fi uh, guaranteed financing. We've got a coach sewing some moves there in the corner trying to get Velez going. And here we go. We've got somebody, a uh, few people wiping down uh -huh. the entire ring now. It's yep. the condensation's out. There, and there's some replay there. And I really noticed it when – and there you go, Patrick. Here's the replay over there. Okay. Yeah, you can see Vela's looking at the floor when he got hit. So it kind of is like him looking at the floor and thinking, you know, there's a spot there that he's slipping on. When they got Velez over here and Velez was up against the ropes in front of us, I could see when they was charging, he was slipping like he was on ice skates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it looked like he almost stumbled forward yeah, a yeah. couple times. Yeah. Looked like he was ice skating. And Amy did ask the ring girls, because they're up in the ring a lot, saying, hey, I, is it getting slick? Amy asked them, and they both said, yes, it's getting, it's real yeah. slick out there. And Eric doing a great job, and 
uh, real fight promotions, putting these venues, uh, putting these real fights on, and and uh, everyone doing their job right now, just uh, trying to get that canvas as dry as possible. Yeah, you got a you got a combination of like dirt and sweat, yeah. you know, building up on the ring, and that's a, that's a bad combo. And these guys, they don't find a lot outside. Yeah, yeah, right. I imagine not. But they're both warriors. It's not letting them stop them. They're just accepting the conditions that they're in and going on and fighting through it. Now, if it's 93 degrees and 100% humidity, I would go the other way. But right now, you know, I'm more of a fan of outside boxing. Yeah. yeah because nice. of the conditions tonight. Yeah. For us, they're amazing. Now, if it's Wednesday, now, if this was uh, <laughs> next Wednesday, high 97. Low is about 80. I, I, I'd say let's go you, back. You wouldn't in, want to be out here. Uh, let's go back inside. The, let's go back <laughs> inside. But I tell you what, Saberton Station, a perfect uh, venue to host an event like this. Plenty of parking and not and the spacious, a lot of space here. Round two underway between Day and Velez. I'll tell you, that first round seemed like it might have been a couple of rounds. There was a lot going on. Yeah, for sure. Plus, both fighters, I get a little extra breather as well. Yeah. Hopefully, a little extra coaching might be able to help as well. Good straight cross combination thrown by Jordan Day. Another good body punch. Day more active right now. Yeah. I think Velez is trying to find some kind of opening, but looking like he's a little frustrated, uh, not able to, to find it and not able to slow Jordan Day down. Now, did Jordan just slip in a, a body punch there? Yeah. Okay. I heard it more than saw it. I got the little bit of glare. Yeah. Jordan Day can't fall victim like Jaden Talker did the last Right, that's like get, true. Get KO'd after you know you heavy advantage. Like you said, for Velez, it's got to be frustrating right now. Just trying to seize an open, just can't do so. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Day also has a, a number of amateur fights. He was 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Wow. As a pro, he's only fought once before, and he he won that. Yeah. Good shot there by Day, and Day, yeah. you know, he's just real confident right now. That's he a, in control. That's a really good right hand to the body. You can tell uh, Velez is feeling that. This is, I, I assume this is where the chess match is, really. Yeah, these guys are fighting a good pro, pro pace of the round, you know, not expending too much energy, you know, trying to find what works for them, reading each other. Well, that snuck in a right hand there. Landed pretty good. Oh, Jordan's doing a little taunting, it looks like. Yeah. Dropped his gloves. Got a couple yeah. more shots yeah. into, into the body as well. A little bit of swelling in that, over that right eye, that corner of that right eye for Velez, it looks like. Jordan Day is trying to set a trap by dropping his hands. He's basically saying, like, okay, go ahead and hit me so that he can try to get a counter in. That seems like a risky. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Got him in trouble. Got in the some ropes. combos. And Velez is standing strong still. Get back to Jason's point real quick, Patrick. Uh, I think Jason was trying to say he's in the round two. He's over. Is that risky for what Day was doing? Uh, Beatty, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, obviously, if it goes wrong, it goes really wrong, you know, <laughs> if you're putting your chin out there to get hit. But uh, they do that to try to get him to, to throw something so that they can get a good counter punch. Pretty much as he's just telling his opponent, say, hey, A, I'm quicker than you, and B, yeah. guess what? You're not tough enough to hurt me. Yeah. And, and Velez can go C. Well, guess right. what? I can KO you. We're going to see a replay here. <laughs> this is where Jordan Day is just trying, trying to put a lot of work in, trying to get him trapped on the ropes, landed, landed a good right hand at the end. And that replay kind of shows a lot about how the fight's been going so far. Jordan trying to push in, uh, work forward, back the other guy up. Velez is trying to find the longer straight punches and, you know, keep his distance a little bit more. How did you score this 2-0 day so far? Rounds? I think so, yeah. I, I would say so. 
beginning of round three. If Reyes, what's he need to do to get back into this thing? Uh, well, right now it looks like he's trying to turn it around and, and start to walk forward more. Um, yeah, I mean, really, he's got to throw his hands a lot more. He's got to throw more punches. He's got to, um, you know, score points and then kind of try to get out of the way. That was a, good that was a nice duck. Yeah, that was a good one from Velez. He got a, a kind of stuff like that, dodging punches, countering. So ag aggression and then just getting out of the way. Yeah. And it looks like Velez is in this one a little more. Yep. Day's corner saying, get your right hand up. Got him in the corner again. That's where he's done some damage tonight. Yep. Still lots of work oh, coming out no. from Jordan. He's got still got his shot, hands yeah. up. You know, he's being careful still. A little bit of clinching here. Referee's going to break it up. He's done an excellent job tonight getting Velez in the corner, mounting the offense and doing some damage. The last fight he uh, he had a few times he had to break it up too, but yeah. he's on it. That was another body shot by day. Very active this round, Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, lots of activity for sure. It just amazes me, Jason, on how active a day can be and just still control your breathing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just measured. Boy, he's been doing this for a while. This yeah. is, I think it's his 18th fight, so. This is just another day of work. Yep. <laughs> Another day at the office. And I, I don't know how Eric Watkins of Real Fight Promotions does this, but every one of these fights has been good. Yeah. Yeah, he takes pride in it. You know, there are there are promotions out there that, you know, make kind of like a more of a mismatch. And he has got his opponent trapped on the road He's just again. going to town, it looks like. Working. Body shots. That first blow to the body really knocked it, railed him. It sh he shuddered a little yeah, bit. You, you can see his body just kind of react to it. Second air right now is Velez. Ten All seconds right. left it sounds like. Yep. Round's almost over. Let's see what they make of these last few seconds. Good jab from Jordan Day. Yeah, wow. you know, Jordan Day is up on the cards. So that gives him a chance to relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he can he can just maintain now, maintain the same pace. And, you know, if he can do that, he can still get by through to a victory. Guys, how are you enjoying the professionals? Make some noise. For Day coming into the fourth and final noise. round, if I'm, in, if I'm his corner guy, I'd be like, all right, Here's a don't quick get replay. sloppy, don't get overconfident. Here's a quick replay of Jordan Day just really putting in the work on the ropes. And you can see he's using that right hand to kind of hold him in place mm -hmm. and then just, you know, finding any opening he can. Just like last fight we saw of, of Jordan Day's, you know, the body punches. He yeah. really commits to the body punches. And they seem to work. Yeah. Now, Jordan Day, he looks like he's, he's not... Oh, okay. For a second, it looked like he wasn't even breathing heavy yet. Yeah. <laughs> but these, both of these fighters are in tremendous shape. Yep. Again, Dave finding out the Buddy's Bud Company Red Corner and the Mason Jar Saloon Corner is uh, being fought out of is Israel Valles. All right, fourth round. This is the professional rounds, right? This is where it's one more round than the amateurs. This is when it gets really tough. Just keep on going after that initial three. If you're Velez, you just got to open it up his fourth and final round. I imagine so, yeah. He's, he's only got one way to win at this point, I would think. Yeah. And again, yeah. like you said, Jordan Day is just dropping his gloves and trying to bait him again. Yeah. Yeah, if Jordan stays smart and he uh, you know, doesn't get careless or anything, he puts in a little bit of work, he should be able to cruise to a victory. But he's still trying to push the pace. So. so what would you do if you were in this ring, Patrick? If I were in the ring? Yeah. If I were Jordan? Or 
if you were Jordan. Yeah, if I'm Jordan, I mean, you know, I would, I probably would not be quite as aggressive, but you know, again, and he's a, he has no guarantee that the judges have him up That's on the cards. True. You know, you That's don't know true. until the very end. So, you know, um, I probably would uh, use a little bit more just footwork and in and out, and just make sure that he can't really get get me back. Oh, good body shot there, Belez. by Belez, Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. When you play to lose, sometimes you do lose. They try to bait him again, dropping his gloves. But that shot there today was a good shot. Yeah, and Velez returned with a good jab. Yeah. These guys are good boxers, you know. They're good strategists. They're really thinking in there. Once again, Dave's got Velez in the uh, ropes. Yeah, another big attack with body punches, head punches coming from everywhere. I'll just try to clinch. Yeah, you can see yeah, Velez. Yeah, you can see Velez trying to grab a hold of him a good bit. I, I do. I just hang on for dear life. Yeah. Here's what Velez needs to do. Clinch, break, and then hopefully Day tries to bait him again and give it everything you have and try to knock him out with one punch. Yeah. That's the only chance. Oh, ref almost got in the way there. <laughs> yeah. Velez is still swinging. I have seen in a rough and rowdy one time the referee did take a punch and got knocked out by accident. Yeah, it happens. Yep. The refereeing is a hard job. It I mean, is. I've done a little bit of amateur refereeing in USA Boxing, and it's tough. Ten seconds? Is that what I heard? Yep, about ten seconds left. And once again... Day with the onslaught. Now story tonight. Jordan Day just right. got his a, a, just got his opponent in the in the ropes and just mounted a lot of offense. Yeah, I mean he had a yeah. he had a mission in mind and he went to work and made it happen. And we got a decision victory for Jordan Day. Anything I know is you ain't built like this. Hit so I make the brain say quick. I ain't no fraud, no gangsta or goon I just want to accept, just speck or lose And follow me to greatness, show you what it take it. Show you how to use curse, show you why they hate it Hungry for more like a Lloyd Banks playlist Still don't like the only person not up in the mix You know, I ain't really changed, I just got a lot better Got a hard enough soul from Chicago weather Only do the talking, they don't know no better Got the Glock and Fulgin nice like an Abercrombie sweater I ain't even rapping, I'm just talking about my life and it's